into a new career path but don't know what where to start well you are in luck because tomorrow is the 26th annual black hills regional job fair jeff wangen who is coordinating this major event is here to give you all the tools you will need for tomorrow <laughs> Glad to be how here. are Thanks. you so nice to see you jeff Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's Good to great. Be here. Hey, you do a fabulous job with the career fair. Thanks. Once again, you are at the helm, <laughs> 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 making it all possible for everyone tomorrow. Where do we start? You bet. <laughs> so it is tomorrow yes. already, uh, 11 till 5 at the monument. It's okay. in the Rushmore Hall, which is the biggest hall close to where the Rush actually play. Uh, so 11 to 5, free admittance. So if you're looking for a job, looking to take the next step in your job, come on down, see what's there. We're really excited this year. We have 93 employers. Right, and you were just saying that you increased it by another row. Of yeah, we had, we, added, we had to add a row. Last year we had 85, and, and the demand was a little more this year, so we added a row, and, and we're up to 93. Wow, that is incredible, all those vendors. That's you wonderful. Bet. So what can we tell people for tomorrow? You must have your resume. You, you must be dressed appropriately. What else can we tell yeah. them? <laughs> Those are kind of the big things yeah. is come prepared, right? We always tell people come as if you're going to a job interview because you are, right? You are. That's really what it is. And I know it's a cliche, but you really do only get one chance to make that first impression. So think that through. What, do you, what, Im what impression do you want to make on these future employers so right and then also I think you know even if, I know electronically people can send resumes right. but even if you have them in hand you should have them in like a nice portfolio right yeah don't don't pull out a wad out of your <laughs> don't be like you know or, shuffling yeah. papers and all yeah. you know what I'm saying yep. I, I yeah so like, so you can sure bring a resume if nothing else I always tell people bring a cheat sheet because a lot of them have online access right there and, and maybe the interview or you're in, you're visiting with them it's going well and they say well jump on the laptop here and fill out our online app. Well, give some thought to what kind of questions do they ask on an application. You should know the basics, name, address, those kind of things, right? right? <laughs> but past employment, what was your job title? Who was your boss? What was your income level? Those things most of us don't know off the top of our head. So do a little research and think through what are they right. going to ask me? What could they ask me? Right. Research yourself. <laughs> Research yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Dress appropriate. Every year we always think um, some people didn't hear that message. <laughs> right. Some people didn't. But you know what? I think there's another there's another point to this, too, and that is to come prepared with how you can bring value to that absolutely. employer. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. And, and it's getting pretty competitive out there. As many jobs as uh, that are advertised all the time and people talk about there's so many jobs available, you still have to be a fit. Right? Yes. People aren't just hiring anybody. That's part of the problem right now is people are looking for that unique fit for their organization. Right. And it needs to be a good fit for both. Absolutely. You know? So you need to go Absolutely. in there investigating what, what might be right for you as well. Yep. So and on that note, you could download the app Career Fair Plus. Okay. Look, f It's available in all the app stores. Look for the Black Hills Regional Job Fair. All 93 employers are listed there. There. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. So you good bet. to see you. Thanks for having me. Up next, today's Fox Files brings us to Minnesota.